Assalamu alaikum children and welcome to another episode of the Butterfly Corner on Hilal TV. I'm Samira and I'll be keeping you company every single day. Alhamdulillah. Have you been watching? I know I've been getting some wonderful voice notes from you. I love hearing from you. If you'd like to send us a voice note or if you ask mommy and daddy to type a message and send it inshallah, then who knows, maybe next time you'll be sitting with us either in studio or with us at your school. How awesome would that be? For all the little boys and girls watching, have we been to your school yet? We've been visiting so many schools for the month of Ramadan. We've been having fun with Imi Elephant. We've been playing outside in the yard. We've been playing with the little boys and girls. And today, we're at Kurtuba Islamic Academy. And as you can see, our boys and girls are all dressed up in their Palestinian wear. Boys and girls, Assalamu Alaikum. And how are you all today? That's good. Alhamdulillah. You're all looking so, so cute. MashaAllah. Well done, well done. Who got you dressed in the morning? Mommy, who got you dressed in the morning? Mommy, mommies are doing a good job, mashallah. Don't forget to make du'as for your mommy and for your daddy as well, okay? Inshallah. Now, boys and girls, for the month of Ramadan, our theme has been the Holy Quran, isn't it? So, have you been following our stories? Have you been listening to our little boys and girls read Qur'an and stories and nasheeds and all the speeches about the Qur'an? I've been having so much fun. Remember, for every single letter of the Qur'an that you read, you get 10 rewards and blessings. How many? 10 rewards. 10 rewards and blessings. Alhamdulillah. And in the month of Ramadan, those blessings are multiplied and multiplied and multiplied. Imi Elephant, can we count how many blessings Allah is giving us? Imi says that it's so much that our heads get sore and we can't even count it. Isn't that right, Imi? Alhamdulillah, our Allah loves us so much that he looks for any excuse to give us giant rewards. And so we need to do lots and lots of little good deeds to make Allah happy. Not only in this beautiful month of Ramadan, but afterwards as well, inshallah. Now boys and girls, I have a story for you. Would you like to listen to a story? Yes, inshallah. One day, little Hafsa was at school. Hafsa was playing with her friends. Hafsa was having so much fun. She then went to her bag to have her lunch. Hafsa realized that she forgot her lunch at home. She didn't know what to do. Boys, girls, has this ever happened to you before? Yes. It has? So you understand the feeling of hunger? Yes. Now little Hafsa was feeling very hungry. Her tummy was all rumbly. It wasn't because she was fasting, but simply because she had forgotten her lunch at home. Hafsa sat on the bench and wondered about all the little children around the world who didn't have anything to eat. It reminded her to thank Allah for the blessings that she had. It reminded her to thank Allah for the yummy things that mommy would make for her. It reminded her to thank Allah for the wonderful food that she had at home in her fridge. It reminded her to thank Allah for the yummy treats that daddy would bring. It reminded her to thank Allah that there was always food for her to eat. Boys and girls, did you thank Allah for the food you had to eat? You did, MashaAllah. Now little Hafsa sat on the bench and just then Umar walked by. And so Hafsa looked at him. Umar said, Hafsa, where's your lunch? Hafsa said, I forgot it at home, but it's okay, we'll be going soon. Umar sat next to her 
and shared his lunch. He was such a good little boy. Mummy and Daddy always taught him to share. And so, Hafsa thanked Allah once again for the blessing of having something to eat. But that day when Hafsa went home, Hafsa went straight to Mummy. And do you know what she said? Do you know what she said? Mummy, Mummy, today I forgot my lunch. And it reminded me about the children around the world who have no food. It reminded me about the children around the world that have no homes and families. Wow, Hafsa, said Mummy. It looked like this was a blessing because you got a reward from Allah for making dua for those children. Boys and girls, did you make dua for those children? Yes, yes even the children of Palestine, isn't it? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Now some of those children don't have food to eat like you have. And so, Mummy reminded herself of a hadith of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that said something to the effect that if you read Surah Waqia every night, you will not be afflicted by starvation. Must I say that again? That was a big one, wasn't it? Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said something to the effect that if you read Surah Waqia every single night, you will not be afflicted by starvation. And so, even if you're really, really poor and don't have much food to eat, remember to read Surah Waqia every night so that you are not afflicted by starvation. That means that you're really, really hungry and have no food to eat. But what happens if Allah blesses you and you have lots and lots of food? Does it mean we must not read Surah Waqia? No, it means that we must still read it and then remember to thank Allah afterwards for the blessings that we have, isn't it? Yes, Alhamdulillah. My little ones at home, don't forget to read verses of the Quran in the month of Ramadan and afterwards so that you too can be rewarded insha'Allah. Now let's chat to some of our friends. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. And what's your name? Umair Sainfat. MashaAllah, how old are you Umair? Eight years old. Oh wow. Now I heard that you have some wonderful verses of the Quran planned for us. Would you like to read for us? Go ahead. Uh, Wow, mashallah, mashallah, that was absolutely beautiful. Well done. Boys and girls, let's give him a loud mashallah. Mashallah. Imi elephant, don't forget to say mashallah for the wonderful verses of the Quran. Now, boys and girls, did you know that just by listening to your friends to reading the Holy Quran, you get a reward from Allah too. So, Alhamdulillah, we all got a reward for reading Quran, isn't it? And for listening to the Quran. And don't forget at home, you get a reward for listening to the Quran, for reading the Quran, for touching and holding the Quran, and even looking into the Quran. So don't forget to cash in with as many rewards as you can, okay? Insha'Allah. What's your name over there? Sayana, how old are you, my angel? MashaAllah. Sayana, do you love reading the Quran? MashaAllah. What's your favorite surah? Uh, 
What's your favorite surah? Or do you like all of them? You like all of them, alhamdulillah. And tell me, my angel, who dressed you this morning? Your mommy, she dressed you so cute. I love your Palestinian scarf. It's absolutely adorable. Tell me, my angel, what's your favorite part about school? To play at the jungle gym, that's definitely fun. And we'll be having fun at the jungle gym too. I know Imi Elephant loves it. <laughs> Can I have the mic? There we go. Let's pass it over here. Assalamu alaikum. I love your face paint. It's the Palestinian flag. Tell me, my angel, what's your name? And how old are you? Six years old, mashallah. Who's your teacher at Kurdubai Islamic Academy? Teacher Shakira. Teacher Shakira, wow, mashallah. And do you like Teacher Shakira? Why do you like her? Because she teaches you nice stuff. She teaches you lots of nice stuff, alhamdulillah. And what's your name, my darling? Sarah Fabian. And how old are you? Five years old, mashallah. Who's your teacher? Teacher Saliha. Teacher Saliha. And are you in grade R? Yes. Alhamdulillah. What's your favorite part about school? Painting and playing on the jungle gym. I see a trend over here, but I'm sure you learn lots and lots and lots before you get to paint and before you get to the jungle gym, yes? Alhamdulillah. And what's your name, my darling? And Suhair, how old are you? Six years old, mashallah. What grade are you in? In grade R. Wow, that's amazing. Are you looking forward to the holidays, Zuhair? What do you have planned for the holidays? You don't know. I'm sure mommy and daddy have a wonderful surprise for you. Yes? Insha'Allah. Boys and girls, whether you're going away on holiday or whether you're staying at home, don't forget to tune in to Hilal TV and to watch the Butterfly Corner every single day, okay? Insha'Allah. Imi Elephant, what are you going to be doing this holiday? Mm -hmm. Wow, Imi Elephant says that he's going to play outside and read lots and lots of Qur'an and he'll be fasting too. Boys and girls, will you be fasting? Yes. Yes, yes inshallah. Don't forget to make lots and do lots and lots of du'as for us as well. Now, boys and girls, would you like to quickly plant palm trees in Jannah? Yes. Imi, would you like to plant palm trees in Jannah? Definitely, inshallah. Okay, everybody and at home, read with us too. Because every single time you read this dua, we're going to plant palm trees in Jannah. Everybody say, Subhanallah al Azim. Subhanallah al Azim. Wa bihamdihi. That's one. Let's plant another one. Subhanallah al Azim. Subhanallah al-Azim. Wa bihamdihi. Wa bihamdihi. That's two. Let's plant one more together. Subhanallah al-Azim. Subhanallah al-Azim. Wa bihamdihi. Wa bihamdihi. And that's three. Keep on reading at home so that you can plant lots and lots. And inshallah, when we're in Jannah, I can come visit you and see how many palm trees you have and you can come visit me too. Boys and girls, inshallah, if we're all in Jannah together, will you come and visit me? Yes. Yes, yes inshallah. But we've run out of time. Don't worry, we'll be back again real, real soon. Until next time. Fi amanillah. Ma'assalam.